Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cypher. Today, we have a new Fortnite patch, and there is a lot packed into this patch. A new weapon, a new item, and some changes to the game, okay? If you guys enjoy these type of patch note videos, make sure you like this video, and go ahead and look down below. If you're not subscribed to this channel, do me a solid favor. Click that subscribe button so you don't miss uploads like this. And if you want to support me, create a code CypherPK in the item shop. Guys, today was a pretty big update. A lot has happened. Let's dive right into it. First of all, we have a new weapon. It's the flare gun. It's kind of hard to find, but I think they have a little bit of a problem with the drop rate because apparently some people are finding a lot of them. I personally have had a hard time finding them at all, but I did find it in Battle Lab, and I'm going to show you guys some footage of that. Um, this thing, it, you know, it shoots like a flare out, and that flare does 60 damage, but it also explodes and does fire damage afterwards. Um, we just couldn't show that in the, you know, in the footage over here because the fire is actually not working in battle lab but it does actually uh light builds up on fire in the game so that we have a new fire item uh it seems to be a theme that epic keeps pushing for but the strong part about this gun is actually it is you can you can use it like a flare gun and if you shoot it up in the air it will reveal all enemies in a location they can be hiding in boxes hiding in bushes in their own builds doesn't matter if they have line of sight or not as long as you shoot it up in a certain location it's gonna, just gonna scan the area and it's gonna mark all the enemies in that area uh for a good period of time what feels like 20 to 30 seconds um so extremely strong you know kind of uav you know reveal type uh weapon not so strong to you to be used offensively and also the ammo for this is pretty limited it, it comes with six shots uh, and I don't think you can reload the weapon. I had a theory that maybe you can use the Firefly jars to reload it. We haven't tested that yet, but that might be a good, you know, option um, if it, if Epic is thinking about it. But right now, it's like six shots. You can't reload it, so you have to use it wisely. It burns builds pretty well. Does 60 damage um, direct impact, um, but also 60 damage if it hits near them because it kind of explodes where you shoot. But the big part about this weapon is the reveal option where when you shoot it, reveals an entire location um going to be pretty powerful if it ever comes to competitive we'll have to see but right now it is in the game you can find it you know in chess floor drop you know crates but it has a pretty rare uh you know drop rate so good luck if you're trying to find it hopefully they buff up the drop rate a little bit i think there might be a problem with the drop rate because usually when with new stuff they like to initially have a really high drop rate so everybody can try it out um loot marauders drops have been buffed we've been asking for this uh there's a much better chance of getting better guns i'll go in, i'll get into details on that later um renegade emote is uh leaked so there will be a renegade emote for all you tiktok fans out there uh some new you know new leak skins as well uh dad bod jonesy that's interesting and some other ones that just some other new styles that just came out you'll see me using one of the new styles from a current skin and then uh, an item shop update that just happened uh, with a new skin. And there, there's there's a few new skins that are coming up pretty soon that look pretty cool. I'll show some of them here. Shout out to HypeX for leaking these. Uh, the new item, the deployable workbench. Okay, so this is an upgrade station that, you know, you can pick up. Uh, you can only pick up in stacks of one. You can throw this thing down and you can upgrade or side grade your weapon. Now, this is pretty cool because they fixed the P90 bug where you couldn't side grade a regular P90 to a rapid fire. As you guys know, I'm a huge advocate of the rapid fire SMG, but now you can do that. Now you can side grade any P90, both the compact that the henchmen drop or the regular P90 into a rapid fire. Now that there is a lot more portable work workbenches around the map that you can just find, it's going to be an easier way to upgrade and side grade your weapons. Personally, I feel like this item could have been a trap item so that it doesn't take up a slot because at the end of the day, I don't think people are really going to want to pick this up and carry it around with them. Even in, a, even in a full squad, there's always going to be an option to carry, you know, the fruit baskets, hot peppers, shields, splashes, you know, mobility items. I just don't think this item necessarily is top priority because there are, you know, upgrade stations all around the map that are permanent. But it is a little bit convenient if you land, you know, in a spot that doesn't have an upgrade station. You find one, you have extra, extra mats, or you want to side grade a weapon, you can go ahead and do that. Um, there's also a bit of a bug with it where if you throw it in a uh, vault, it's indestructible. So you can kind of trap people in the vault or trap the vault altogether. I don't think that's intended, um, but that's definitely something that you should know exists because people, you know, eventually will find out about it and start abusing it. So look out for that. Um... 
Reload V-Bucks. So basically, if you have a thousand V-Bucks and the skin you want is 1200, you can just pay 200 instead of a whole extra thousand. So there's like easier ways to, to get just like a little bit more V-Bucks instead of having to buy a whole extra pack, uh, which could potentially save you money. That's a pretty cool quality of life change. Shout out to Epic for doing that because in reality, they could just keep it the same way right now where you have to buy an extra thousand V-Bucks to, to, to buy a new skin. So that's, that's interesting. Uh, they fixed, like I said, they fixed the compact SMG side grade. Uh, Marauders don't count for Storm Surge anymore. This was a competitive problem where people were using the Marauders to get Storm Surge tags. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. It doesn't really apply to you. But if you're a competitive player, that's a good change because, you know, in stacked lobbies, you don't want NPCs on, to man. count towards uh, actual player tags. Uh, they nerfed the P90, okay? Uh, clip size. So... They did, they did a few different things to the P90. So here, here's the changes. Uh, not just the P90, but normal SMG guns have been nerfed. The damage and fire rate of the regular submachine guns common to legendary. That means the normal SMG is all the way up to the gold P90. The, the common is down to 16 damage, 28 headshot damage, uh, 17, 18, 19, and 20 damage. The fire rate now is 10 instead of 12. Um, and the magazine size of the epic and legendary SMG, the P90, has been reduced to 35 bullets instead of 40. Uh, the compact SMG that you find on Henchman has not been changed. It's still 40 bullets and it still does 20 damage body shot. So that's gonna be the strongest version of the P90 because that does now that does the same damage as the current legendary version, but also has uh, five extra bullets. I don't know if the fire rate has been changed on it. Actually, the fire rate of the P90 has always been 10. So it, it's still the same fire rate. It's the regular SMGs that now have a 10 fire rate instead of a 12. So this is a pretty big nerf to the SMGs. And the rapid fire has not been nerfed. The rapid fire is still the same. It still has 26 bullets, 15 fire rate, and a 1.4 second reload time. So I've been telling you guys the rapid fire is the better SMG for a long time. And now the, S the normal SMG in the P90 has been nerfed. So now more than ever, you should be side grading using those portable workbenches to the rapid fire SMG, okay? Um, but if you're interested in still using the P90, the best version of the P90 is gonna be the ones that the henchmen drop because that's still unchanged. It's still 40 bullets and it's 20 damage like the current legendary is. So interesting, interesting change. I'm personally a fan because I don't like the spray meta. I know I like the rapid fire, but I hate the P90s because all the extra bullets is kind of annoying to deal with, okay? Um, the storm, as you're gonna see at the end of this game, the storm is more purple. It has a like a weird different color. I don't know what the change is for, if it's just cosmetic or if they're trying to make it to where seeing through the storm is consistent. Because right now, uh, depending on like your colorblind mode or what your settings are, looking through the storm is pretty difficult or really easy. Um, and I and I always said that it's kind of weird that changing your colorblind mode helps you see through the storm better. I think it should just be consistent across the board. We'll have to see if that's why they changed it. But as far as cosmetic, it does look a lot cooler. So I'm a fan of the new storm for sure. Um, there's a new island north of the shark. Uh, we talked about the water uh, receding, and it seems to be happening. And I and I, the, the first actual like water level, like big major receding, is gonna happen on July 1st at 3 a.m. That's what no, is in the game look. files. So the new the new uh, island north of the shark. I don't think this is, that's necessarily because of the water going down. Uh, overall, the water levels seem to be the same. Um, but the first major water level receding is going to happen July 1st, 3 a.m. That's tomorrow. So we'll have a video updating you guys on any potential POIs or any potential changes to the map. Uh, first thing tomorrow. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss that video as well. Um, big change to the combat. Not the combat. The charge shotgun. The purple and gold charge shotgun now have four bullets instead of three and they reload faster this is a big change a lot of people have been asking the charge shotgun it is an awkward gun to use it is a little bit weird uh, but once you figure it out it can be very strong the problem though is that if you didn't have the mythic version you were going to be using three bullets uh before you had to reload uh, which is very very minimal now the purple and gold version have four bullets and a faster reload so it very, very much promotes the idea of upgrading from a blue to a purple. That's going to be a very, very huge upgrade. That's 100% worth the mats. Whereas initially, I wasn't really upgrading the blue charge to a purple. I mean, if I had a bunch of extra mats, maybe I would upgrade. 
but in reality it wasn't worth the upgrade now it's 100 worth the upgrade and the the charge shock and having four instead of three is it's a lot better and and it reloads faster too so it's a little bit more uh consistent in that way um marauders the loot were buffed like i said earlier uh, marauders now drop 54 light ammo it used to be 18 30 medium used to be 10 18 heavy and 12 shotgun shells used to be six and four 50 percent chance to drop five bandages it used to be 75 percent, so that's a bit of a nerf but there's now a 50 percent chance for them to drop three stink bombs it used to be 25 percent. so the only way to actually get stink grenades in the game right now is by killing marauders and stink grenades are extremely strong people are not ready for those because they're so uncommon that you're not really prepared for that. You crack somebody, you get them really weak, you throw a stink. Um, a lot of people will panic because it's been a long time since stinks have been in the game. Now, if you wipe a group of Marauders, there's a 50% chance you're going to get stinks. 20% uh, chance for a med kit used to be 60%. 50% chance for two splashes used to be 20%. And 30% chance for three Firefly Jars used to be 20 Not that the, not that the Firefly Jars are strong. Um, they're really not strong. But if you can use them as ammo for the flare gun, then they could potentially make a comeback. We'll see. Um, the workbenches, I don't know if I forgot to mention, you can actually destroy the structure that the workbenches are on and they'll drop back into an item. So you can kind of uh, take them around with you, throw them down. And if you want to pick them back up, you can pick them back up. Pick them back up if you want to. So guys, big update today. A lot of changes. Um, a lot of cool cosmetics coming in and some awesome changes to the SMG nerf the comp, uh, the charge shotgun buff um the flare gun is very very interesting um i have yet to get my hands on it in an actual game but you know the footage that we got was seemed to show it being potentially very useful especially in team based modes being able to reveal the locations of all your enemies in, a, in an area even if they're hiding behind walls is going to be extremely powerful um and really give you the upper hand when you're taking a fight i can see this being almost a mandatory thing to carry especially in trios and squads so LTMs are also coming back into the game. A lot of people have been asking where are the LTMs. They are coming back. Uh, very excited to see what LTMs they eventually introduce. Uh, those will be coming hopefully this week. Um, but yeah, some new stuff coming in. Some new stuff already in. Very excited for this change. If you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe for more content. Uh, hit that like button. And if you want to support me, create a code CyberPK in the item shop. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> I wanted to charge it up and see how what he reacted. GG. Look at the sea storm, man. It's crazy.